<laughs> We're in the Guadalupe National Mountain, Ma National Park. Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Guadalupe Mountains National Park. In Texas. Park. In Texas, and we're gonna do the McKittrick Canyon Trail. McKittrick. Probably not too far. We don't really want to do a crazy hard hike right now, but it's supposed to be a nice stream. Maybe go up to the grotto. That would be like a six mile round trip, so we'll see how we feel. But that way we can explore a little bit of Guadalupe Mountains National Park before we leave the area tomorrow. But it's still a little bit windy. It's windy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cold out. It's like 50, so. It's winter. But let's go check it out. Yep, let's go. We're free with the National Parks Pass. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out where to go when the trail cuts across an open area. They did a pretty good job of marking this one. Probably all the rocks leave when they get water in this, but... I think I found it. <laughs> That's a pretty tree. It's cold, it's windy, but it's nice to get out of the airstream and at least there's sun. Surrounded by canyon. Okay, that we're surrounded by trees too. Yeah, right here is where so, it's really nice in the fall. Can I? Canyon, hold on, hold on. Can canyon. Well, this is the canyon. Canyon. Those are just rocks. Rocks, canyons. No, it's, canyons well, it's the rocks that surround the canyon. Yeah, the canyon's where we are. I think. Isn't that the definition of canyon? Okay, yeah, fine. We're not surrounded by canyon. We are in, in a, a canyon, canyon surrounded by, by rocky mountains. Yes. Not the rocky mountains, but rocky... Oh, man, this is a train wreck. <laughs> this is the area where people say this is amazing heights to do in the fall because of all of these trees. They all change color and I can just see it being beautiful. It's beautiful now, but I'm sure it's even more gorgeous in the fall. And less windy. Less windy. Oh boy, I would love that. Can you find the Steve in his natural habitat? There he is. Anything for the shot. We have a deer on the path. Right up there, yeah. And we're back. Oh, we weren't really hiking anything in particular. We just wanted to get out and get some exercise. We did. So we didn't quite get to the Pratt cabin or the grotto or anything, mostly because the wind was really biting and my ears were so cold. Um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful hike. And we even got to see some mule deer. That's right. So wonderful. And uh, now we'll go back to the airstream. Yes, let's go. Courtney. What? Are you killing their wildlife? No. 
Well, good, because that's what we saw right there. It is. So yeah, we did 3.23. You want to know how you can tell that we just took showers? <laughs> that, which is usually in there. It's still drying out. Wanted to tell you guys something that we figured out yesterday. Yesterday it was super windy outside, like crazy windy. And it was coming in mostly from the front, but a little bit from our side because the wind shifted direction. And for some reason, the composting toilet was smelling. And I was, it doesn't smell like poop. It smells like <laughs> dirt. <laughs> so I was like, why does the Airstream smell like dirt? And I thought maybe the fan wasn't working because the composting work, toilet works by having a little fan that like pulls the air out to the outside of the Airstream so you don't smell it inside. Turns out the wind was pushing through that tube back into the composting toilet. So we were actually getting air the wrong way. The fan just couldn't handle, couldn't handle it. So I, the way I know that is that the fan was still working. I pulled this off down here to see, and there was like whoosh, air coming through. <laughs> and this is normally where the air gets pushed out by the fan. So we learned if we have to have the wind on one side of the airstream, it's probably better to have it on that side then you don't get the wind coming through. And the, the wind has to be strong enough. It, it was, was extremely strong. It was like 40, 50 mile per hour gusts. So it was strong. And as soon as the wind died down, it stopped smelling like dirt in the airstream. And that is a much better smell to have than the awful black tank smell we had before we switched out to the composting toilet. So I'm not complaining, but just so you know, if there's high winds, whatever side you have your composting toilet venting to, you might end up getting some feedback smell. Everything's back to normal now. <laughs> Feedback smell. <laughs> Penny's very excited that you sat on the floor, Dad. Yes. You should give him kisses. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> now she's going to climb on me to tell me how excited she is about you. Yeah. Okay, so today may have been our last hike for a while. Yeah, I think it is. Because we're heading towards San Antonio next. But we're going to make one stop maybe in Sonora for some more caves because we know how much Courtney loves caves. And probably we need one other stop besides that. So we're maybe a Walmart. Maybe a Walmart, which will only be our second time ever boondocking in a Walmart parking lot. But we will see how that goes. Penny is... Dude. <laughs> very excited. But yeah, those are the future plans. Uh, tomorrow leave, probably do Walmart and then Caverns of Sonora if that works out. And then San Antonio in a couple days. That's right. Kind of excited. And our first meetup that we have officially scheduled on the website. Lots of Texas for the next couple weeks. Yeah. And Lots cities we've Texas. never been in. I'm excited. That's right. So that's it. We're going to make dinner, eat dinner, and... <laughs> stay warm because it's going to be 27 warm. here tonight. Yeah. Kind and we'll Peter, we love you. We'll see you in the freezing cold weather. Once again, tomorrow. I hate the cold. It's not going to be that cold. Tomorrow. At least it's not the polar vortex stuff up north. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Now pay seeping. I'm Patty.